So recently I was just scrolling on the internet and I found out that there are a lot of videos on NFC. What are the uses of NFC and a lot of videos, especially the videos on how to save your contact information in the NFC tag or how to save your Wi-Fi password in the NFC tag. But these things are useful only up to some extent. So what I wanted to do is, I wanted to implement the use of NFC in home automation. So I searched about it on the internet and I got no video regarding this. So I worked upon it by myself and ended up making this video for you guys. First of all, let me tell you what is NFC. Actually, most of the mobile phones in these days have NFC in them and it has a lot of uses. For example, you can make payments through your mobile phones using NFC. You just need to tap your mobile phone on the credit card machine and you can make the payment instead of using debit card or credit card. So this was just one use of NFC, but there are a lot of more things that you can do with it. For example, if you have this NFC tag, you can use it to write information on this and it can be read by any other mobile phone that has NFC in it. Now if a lot of people visit your home and ask for your Wi-Fi password, what you can do is, you can store your Wi-Fi information in this NFC tag and next time they ask the password, you just tell them to tap their phone on this NFC tag and their phone will be automatically connected to the Wi-Fi. So today we'll be discussing how you can turn on or off your smart device using NFC. Here we'll be using the Sonos smart switch to turn on or turn off the bulb when you tap your phone on this tag. So this process looks a little complicated but actually it's a really easy process. Now before we get into the process, I want you to hit the subscribe button because I regularly upload such videos for you. Okay, so now I think we should just talk about the process. So what is up everyone, this is Jeff from Tequila and let's get right into it. Okay, so here we have the Sonos smart switch whose one end is connected to the power source and the other end is connected to this bulb. Now over here we have the two NFC tags which we'll be using afterwards. Now you can see that the Sonos works perfectly as the bulb turns on when the button is pressed. So our main motive is that the bulb should turn on when we keep our phone on the green tag and it should turn off when we keep it on the red tag. So let's see what we can do to make this happen. So first of all we need to download some apps from the play store. So the first app is NFC tools. Just go and search for NFC tools and download this app. Now to run the NFC tools we need the NFC tasks app. So go and download this app too. Now the last and the most important one is IFTTT app. This will allow us to create a connection between NFC and the Sonoff. Once we have downloaded all three apps we'll open IFTTT. Now here we need to tap on get more and search for EVLink. Now tap on the first card under services and select turn on or off son off. Now here just connect to the service. Now a window will pop up and here you just need to enter your EVLink login details. And once you have logged into your account you will see this page. Now under channel plug select your son off device and set the next option to on. Click on save. And now we have given the access of Sonoff to IFTTT. Now go back and click on get more. And here click on if this then that. First we'll add the this service. Now search for a service named webhooks. Open it and click receive a web request. Now here we have to enter an event name to turn on the bulb. For example I'll enter here Sonoff underscore on. And click on continue. Now under the DAT, search for EV link. Now as we have the Sonos smart switch, we will select turn one channel switch on or off. Here select your Sonoff and set the second option to on. And then click on continue. Here most of our work is done. So in this event if Sonoff underscore on is reached, then the Sonoff one will be triggered, which will turn the bulb on. Now go back and search for webhooks, click on get more, then click on documentations. Now we just have to copy this URL. So once we have copied it, go back and open NFC tools app. Now here we have to approach an NFC tag and then scan it to write the information on it. Just make sure that your NFC is turned on. Now on the right, click add a record. Now tap on custom URI and paste the copied URL here. Now we just have to replace the event and the brackets with sonof underscore on. 
Now after you tap OK, click on Write and just approach the NFC tag to write the information on it. So now this green NFC tag has the information then when it is approached it has to reach the zone off and turn the light on. Now we'll repeat the same process for another tag that will turn off the light. So again we'll click on get more, if this then that, click on this and now we'll search for webhooks, receive a web request and write the event name as sonoff underscore off and then we'll click on continue. Now tap that, search for EV link, here select one channel switch on or off, select the zone of one and select off. Now click on finish and then again go back, go to webhooks, click on documentation and now click this code and copy it. Go to NFC tools. Click add a record, add custom URI and paste the same URL. Here replace the event and brackets with sonoff underscore off and then click OK. So now we will write this new command in the red NFC tag. Now before writing the new information on the tag, we will delete the old one. So again click on write and approach the red color tag. And here we go, we have successfully wrote the information on both of these tags. Now it's time to check if it works or not. So first let's turn on the bulb. So I keep my phone on the tag. And it takes 2-3 to three seconds I guess. But the bulb turned on. And now when I keep it on the red tag, the bulb turns off. Let's try one more time. And it works. So it can take 2-3 to three seconds as it has to go through many servers at once. But that's not a big issue because we have achieved what we wanted. So I hope you found the video helpful and if you did, you know what to do. You just need to hit the subscribe button and like the video because I get motivated when you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.